Hi everyone, my name is Sean from Glow3DApp.com. In this video, we will go over the complete process of capturing, editing, sharing, and embedding 360 product photography of a large item. We will also discuss how to add hotspot contents like image, PDF, text, URL, and video. The final result will look like this an interactive virtual presentation of your product with multi-content so people can move around the product and see it from all angles. Zoom in multi-level, watch videos, open PDF, and finally interact with hotspot that show more image, text, and PDF. Whether you're a manufacturer distributor or a reseller, you can use this 360 product photography technology to create an interactive manual, document your manufacturing process for internal communication, send client updates on the status of their orders in 360 format, or simply create 360 photo for your website, social platform, and online marketing. So without further ado, let's get started. Every week, we are releasing new videos about tips and tricks on 360 product photography. So please share, like, and subscribe to our channel to be the first one to know about our new features. To make it easy, we have split the process into three stages. Stage one, capturing a 360 photo. Stage two, editing the 360 photo. Stage three, sharing or embedding the 360 photo. Let's start with step one, capturing a 360 photo. There are two ways to capture a 360 photo using Glow 3D platform. You can use the automotive capture mode on the iPhone or Android app. You can also use a professional DSLR camera to capture a video or multi images to convert them to 360 photo later using our Windows and Mac app. Using a mobile device is the fastest and easiest way, so we start with that. We're using a gimbal to keep our phone more stable as we move around the product. A gimbal like this, depends on where you live, may cost around $100 US. This would be a great investment to capture a smooth 360 photo, but no worries if you don't have it. All you need really is your smartphone. Once you open the Glow 3D app, press on Capture. Select Automotive Capture Mode. In this mode, you can see purple guidelines and you always want to make sure you start from the widest side of your product. Press Record and as you go around the object as a relatively stable pace, you always and always keep the center of the product on the center of your guidelines. At the same time, you want to make sure to do your best effort to move in an imaginary circle around the product. Once you're back to your first position, you just press stop and save the file. This completes the capture process. That easy, that fast. If you like to use a professional camera, you can do the same process and simply take a 360 video going around the product or you can take multiple photos going around the object. Step two, one of the exceptional features of our platform is the full capability of editing from both mobile and desktop devices on both Windows and Mac. So whether you have an iPhone, Android, Windows, or Mac, you can use any of them to do all the editing features. The other exceptional benefit of our platform is the extreme interface similarities between all these access points. You don't have to learn each separately. And once you learn one of them, you can do it all. For this tutorial, we're using the Glow3D Mac app. But, but again, if you have Windows or mobile devices, the principle is exactly the same. You can download our software from the Windows or Mac App Store 
or simply go to our website and click on applications on the top menu list to download your choice of software. Once you open the software for the first time, you can choose how you would like to proceed. If you use a mobile device to capture the 360 photo, here choose Edit a 360 photo. If you use a DSLR camera and capture the video going around the product, use Video to 360 photo. If you use a DSLR camera and captured multi images, choose Multi image to 360 photo. In this video, we will continue with the Edit 360 photo, but in the description, you can find tutorials links on how to use Video to 360 photo and how to use Multi Image to 360 photo. Select Edit 360 photo and enter the URL of your 360 photo. You can find the URL by going to glow3d.net, log into your account, find your photo, click on three dots, click on share, and copy link. Once in, on the right, you can have few tabs to adjust, filter, crop, background adjustments, alignments, or hotspot. You can also choose to create a loop or change the rotation direction using available buttons. You always want to start from cropping the 360 photo and then adjust the photo using different options, such as contrast, gamma, and brightness. You can also use the trim option to remove any unwanted frame from your 360 photo. Also, the background feature for blurring or removing is a great way to keep the focus on your product. Just turn on the desired option and see if it meets your needs. Our background options are in beta mode and we are making our AI powered algorithm better every day by giving it more training. You can also use the auto alignment process for the horizontal and vertical axis alignment create a smoother 360 photo. Once you're done with other edits, it's time for the hotspot. In each hotspot, you have a general video and general PDF that can refer to the whole product. These could be a spec sheet or manual or price list or promotional video. You can also add hotspots to mark a specific section of a product and offer more content. Start by going to the frame you want to start the hotspot and click on Add Hotspot. Move the hotspot to the desired location and click on the three dot and mark it as a start. Then go to the other frame or the last frame or the end frame and move the hotspot to the desired location and mark it as the end. Now go to the middle frames and try to relocate them to the desired location. Our platform automatically connects these locations to create a smooth strings. Once you're done with setting up the location of the hotspot, now you can click on the three dots and choose options such as change color, add content, or delete the strings. Let's add content. Here you can add text, URL, 2D image, or PDF. Choose your content selection. Select the content and click Save. Now you have completed your first hotspot. You can add up to 10 hotspots to any 360 photo in addition to the general video and general PDF. Once your edit is complete, click Save. Step 3. Share and embed a 360 photo. 
Once you capture and edit your 360 photo, you can use it in many, many ways. You can do it from a web or directly from mobile or desktop app. In this video, we will show you how to share or embed from a web browser. But again, have in mind, you can also do this from a mobile or desktop app. Go to glow3d.net and log into your account. Here you can see your latest 360 photos. You can click on the desired product and here you can click on share icon to see available options such as copy link to send it to anyone. You can also copy embed code to share to social platforms or you can click on the third dot for exporting options such as GIF, video or downloading single frame or multi frame. If you choose the embed option, you can decide the size of the embed, very similar to a YouTube video, and embed it to your website. Once again, you can access these options via desktop or mobile app as well. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions regarding this video or how to use a platform, feel free to add your questions here as a comment or email us at info at glow3d.net. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and share this video. And don't forget, we will have more videos coming. And by subscribing, you will be the first one to know.